Hello, welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews and another reading vlog here on the channel. I believe we are on reading vlog number four, trying not to lose count like I did last year. We'll see how we go. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, I hope you had a nice weekend or by the time you're watching this, a nice week. It is Monday the 18th for me now. I thought that this week would be something of a reading, reading week? Yes, every week is that a review copy week. That's what I wanted to do because I haven't been reading many review copies and they're starting to pile up. So I've made a list of things I would like to read this week. One of which I've already finished because I did not believe in myself yesterday when I made this list. I have finished Record of a Space One View. It was absolutely beautiful. Just fantastic. Again, this is probably one of my favourite series of all time. Not long now until Galaxy in the Ground Within is out and I can have um, two hardbacks and two paperbacks and somehow my head perceives that as matching. It's probably fine. What can I say other than it's fantastic? Um, where does it stand in the like hierarchy of those books for me? I think the trouble is every time I read one I decide it's not necessarily my new favourite but every time I read one I'm like this is just so good. So it's more like uh, <laughs> Galaxy in the Ground Within and Closed in Common Orbit are my favourites and then the rest are second. That's how that is. This was my third reread and it stands up to being reread a lot. What I, one thing I did enjoy about reading, because I've now reread the entire series um, within the last three months, I think, is you pick up more on the other species that get vague mentions here and there. Uh, and I really appreciate that. So if you are thinking about rereading the series, you do actually get new stuff out of it. I enjoyed it greatly. Uh, OK, what else is on my list? I still need to finish Animorphs 15 and get that written. Animorphs 14 is coming out at the end of this week. That will be up already by the time you're watching this. I have two digital arcs and one physical. I might not be able to grab the physical one. There's quite a lot of stuff on top of it. So I'll just talk about it. Uh, but I have Across the Grass Green Fields by Shannon Maguire. It's already out. Witherwood by, is it Hannah Mathewson? I can't remember the author's name and I haven't written it down in here, but Witherwood I would like to get to read because it's the next thing that's being published. And then I have Winter's Orbit over there, but I will put, the cover up but that's a physical arc that's out in February uh, and I was hoping to get to it. To be perfectly honest with you I'm now filling the gap until February uh, when I can start Desolation Called Peace. Everything that I get read this week is sort of bonus extra add-ons. Uh, I would probably like to start an audiobook but I haven't quite decided if that's the right time. Am I just going to end up getting stuck in the start of it? Do I have time to listen to an audiobook? I don't know. This and more thrilling instalments to come in the life of a woman with too many hobbies. Back to work. Hello, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday afternoon. I'm just taking a quick couple of minutes out of my day to come and vlog so that I don't forget to. I have finished one book since the last time we spoke. I finished Across the Grass Green Fields by Shannon Maguire, which I've been wanting to read because it's already out. I enjoyed it pretty well. Nothing has hit home as hard as Every Heart a Doorway. And it's sad that nothing hits quite as hard, but it is very good. And if you're new to the series, you 100% could jump on with this book because it doesn't actually feature any of the home for wayward children uh, so it's just kind of its own little portal fantasy story and it's really lovely it features an intersex main character which I thought was interesting if you are sensitive to bullying based around that maybe don't read this or go in prepared to experience that because there is some bullying probably not that fun to relive if you have trauma surrounding that but personally I, I found it not the most egregious and then it kind of shifts into this portal fantasy thing anyway so it's sort of like a shelve that, let's go and be centaurs. And I'm excited that the series is continuing and that Shannon Maguire continues to write uh, characters and identities that we haven't necessarily seen in this kind of fiction, into short fiction. I still think it's a really good thing to be doing. Just didn't quite connect with it as much as they have done with other things, but you know, I think everyone has books that they connect with more than others. And that's where I'm at with that. I think I'm gonna start Winter's Orbit today because I feel like it and I kind of want to. I did also get approved for Archive of the Forgotten by AJ Hackworth, so do I reread The Library of the Unwritten? I kind of want to. I'm just conscious that my TBR for February is already quite full. Let's just do it. Let's live dangerously. Uh, and if I get behind on Overbooked, I get behind on Overbooked. That's the way it is. Was it a New Year's resolution? Shh, 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 shh. It's all fine. I must get back to work. Hi, I'm apparently just really feeling this pinnacle this week. I don't know what it is. It is Wednesday, Wednesday lunchtime. Uh, I've been in meetings all morning. My brain is meeting frazzled and I think I've got at least one more this afternoon. So on the ball with that. Winter's Orbit, I've started it. I'm loving it. I am 254 pages in. I'm just at the start of chapter 19. 
and it's absolutely fantastic. It's sort of an MLM, not multi-level marketing, but like men loving men, love story slash healing from past things happening story, but also politics, but also space. I'm loving it. It's really, really good. It's a sci-fi story, but it's taking place not necessarily on spaceships, which I really enjoy. I find it a cool setting. Uh, and yeah, at the moment, stuff's going down. I'm very excited about the things that are happening. And yeah, massive content warning for kind of how to describe it. I guess the like residual trauma of emotional abuse, but there isn't emotional abuse happening within the book. But if you are sensitive to that, then I guess it would come up. Uh, personally, for me, it is something I'm a bit sensitive to. But within the context of the book, it's kind of like about the aftermath rather than the actual thing happening. So it feels more very poignant and very hitting home very hard, but not necessarily triggering in any way, I guess, is my, my content warning here. But I will do probably do a full review of this nearer the publication date and I will talk more about it then. But basically, at the moment, I'm really, really loving it. I'm going to get on with more of my meetings and hopefully try and sneak in a few chapters of Winter's Orbit here and there because I don't want to stop reading it. And that hasn't happened to me in quite some time. Post Run Judith is here with incredibly wet hair to talk to you about reading. Hi, hello, it is Thursday, I want to say. I'm feeling like I've achieved things because I've sent my mother's birthday present and I feel powerful about having done that because normally I put off doing anything to do with interacting with the world in any way, which includes the postal service. So that's done. Huzzah. Uh, I finished Winter's Orbit yesterday. I really, really enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend it. Obviously, all the same caveats as yesterday. This is a narrative about abuse and the recovery from that. That's obviously very difficult, but this story is actually really well handled and very beautiful. And I really liked it and I will have a full review for it as soon as humanly possible. It is out on the 8th of February? 4th of February, so uh, not next week but the week after. So if I have time to film one before then I will put one out near a release date. If not, it shall come up in the near future. But I should have a blog review out in time, so keep an eye on all of the various places where I post content and you should be able to see my thoughts. Uh, but yeah, overall, really enjoyed it. Would definitely recommend if it's your kind of thing. I've also finally got around to finishing off Animorphs 15. As ever, don't want to go super into detail about that because I will be producing a whole video for it, which is good because Animorphs 14 will be up by the time you're watching this. Uh, so yeah, I'm just sort of starting to get ahead. I was lying awake last night thinking about Animorphs as one does. All the ways that I can try and kind of push the series ahead in a way that won't completely kill me because otherwise I think I am going to just burn out on it if I try and just do one a month. So we shall see how we do but I am thinking about maybe upping the amount of Animorphs content but it's how you do that without it being at the expense of other content so we'll see. My next read should be Witherwood. I haven't started it yet. I'm still working, you know, can't really just sit and read books all day uh, as much as I would like to. That's where, where I'm at. I'm gonna hopefully start that this evening if not tomorrow. So I shall vlog next time I have something to talk about. Ahoy, hello, happy Saturday. I didn't vlog yesterday because honestly the room was filled with fabric. I haven't started a sewing project but I am desperate to do so. So I've been like trying to do all of the in-betweeny stuff that you're meant to do like washing and ironing the fabric and like preparing and understanding what order I need to do things in because otherwise I'm just going to start and I'm not going to stop and when I tell you I have 12 videos scripted that need filming they're not urgent but they do exist and there are 12 of them. <laughs> Ah, that's significant. Um, so today is a filming day. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to get get some stuff done. So if you see a lot of thumbnails with me back in my favourite shirt, that's why. <laughs> Book things. I did get through half of Witherwood yesterday. I'm enjoying it well enough. I think, let me explain the vague plot to you. So young magician's assistant slash street urchin who, it's unclear how old she is. I can't really remember, but uh, she ends up being taken through a portal into like Witherwood, which is like opposite London. So the clocks are reversed. And there's also various different kinds of magic. There's like five kinds of magic. It's very paranormal. And I don't read a lot of paranormal. So where it's like the changing changelings can shapeshift into different creatures. At first I thought they were werewolves. They weren't. It's not that, that level of paranormalness. But like there's oracles and everything. And basically, I'm not explaining this well at all. Basically she could in theory come into quite a lot of power here. But she's gone to come and find her brother. And that's where I'm up to in the book. And it, it's pretty good so far. I won't say it's like blowing my mind, amazing, wonderful, but it, it's 
doing its job, which is being entertaining. I, I requested it, I think, because I liked the cover and I was like, maybe I'm ready for another alternate London book. I've not been won over by an alternate London for a while, so we'll see. Not ready to pass comment on that yet. And then uh, instead of finishing that in the evening, which I probably should have done, I instead finished a book that I forgot to tell you I was listening to on audiobook, which is Persephone Station. This was on my radar as a book that I might want to read. I think I'd seen it when I was researching books that I wanted to read in 2021. I think Justine just got a copy and that might be the other place I'd seen it. The main reason I picked it up was I got a little ping on my phone saying like, thank you so much for paying your Scribd subscription this month. And I was like, oh yeah, I haven't used that in January. Better find something to listen to to make it worth my money. So yeah, I did um, listen to Persephone Station and I really like the story. I really like the world. I really like the characters. There's quite a lot of non-binary characters, which I thought was great. I mean, obviously I can't comment on how well done it was, but it felt really good to see them there. And you know, ladies doing space quest, great. Yes, lady mercenaries, give all of it to me. My one qualm, I don't know if this would come across in the physical book. So if you've read it in book form, let me know if you notice this. And if you haven't yet, I'm sorry for maybe ruining, not spoiling the book, but potentially making you aware of everything that annoyed me. There's so many, I don't know what they're called. And Asher, if you're watching, please, could you comment what they are called? But they're like, uh, we've got to go get the space aliens, Judith said. And then the next line will be like, of course we do, Doris said. And just said, 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 said. And I think part of it was the rhythm of the audiobook. And I was listening to it at three times speed. So potentially that's on me. But just the rhythm of it was really like, da 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 said, da 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 said, da 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 said. And I was just like, why? Do I know who's talking. And I don't know if that would come across as much in the physical book. So yeah, I wasn't as big a fan of the writing, writing, as it were. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the writing. I did really enjoy the story and I liked how it ended and I would... <sighs> I don't know if I would recommend it. I think it, depending on how much you are, are sensitive to these things. So I know I have friends who that would be a deal breaker. No, that's too annoying. And for me, it was one of those things where I noticed it, but I could appreciate the story on top of it, you know? I enjoyed it. I think I'd probably give it like a high three, two or four, maybe. It's like a, a 7 out of 10. It has been a really decent reading week, actually, uh, thinking about it. I did get everything, well, nearly everything I wanted to get read, read. I have one, half a book left that I can finish over this weekend. That's fine. Next week, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I have technically finished my January TBR, so I think I'm going to pull some stuff out of my own TBR because it's still looking pretty hefty after Christmas and just sort of get to that, I think. But I will tell you all of that in next week's vlog. So you'll have to just stay tuned and find out. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this vlog has been interesting. I feel like I've been a bit hyped up this morning. So hopefully that hasn't been the whole week. I won't know till I watch it back to edit it, which is what I'm going to do now while I enjoy a big cup of coffee and prep myself for the filming that lies ahead. If you'd like to comment below with what you've been reading this week, what you've been up to, I would love to know. I always like hearing like people's current reads, I guess. That, that is the word for that. Come on, Judith, pull yourself together. While you're down there commenting, if you haven't already, you can follow me on all of my social media. You can subscribe because it makes me feel loved and appreciated. That's all from me and I will see you in the next one. It's got a piece of bloopers now. It's a good week for the black brown, the black bar. It's a good week for the brown floral pinafore. Oh, I love my book over there. For goodness sake, Judith, pull yourself together. It's sort of like, if you've read the Mirage duology, it's like aged up Mirage and made different characters. And to be honest, there's nothing else similar about it. I don't know why I'm bringing them up.